They say the best way to grow is to do something that scares you. And one of those things that I did recently was going on my first solo trip to Nashville. I'm gonna walk you through some of the fears and challenges that came up during this trip for me and how I was able to work through them. And also just some benefits of solo travel. If you've ever thought about going on a solo trip, by the end of this video, I hope that you'll be inspired to take action on something that also scares and inspires you. After getting laid off and following my intuition to go full-time into my content creation business, just a few months later, here I am traveling to meet with a new agency. Remember, the universe rewards bold moves because it shows that you are ready to take your life to the next level. It's very important to say that I wasn't always confident in traveling, let alone solo traveling. If you grew up in my household, I was constantly fed thoughts like, it's so dangerous to go on a plane. My family always had this fear around traveling. And I understand the fear because traveling can be scary, but I just refuse to live in fear. And I knew that I've always wanted to travel. For whatever reason, I've always been drawn to traveling and seeing new places and experiences. Because of that fear that was built into my mind from my upbringing about travel, I had to unlearn a lot of mindset that I had. I was almost naturally programmed to be afraid of it. This is why it meant so much to me to finally be able to build the courage and confidence to go on this trip. Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're returning, I'm so grateful that you're here again. And if you're new, my name is Krizia and I'm on a mission to help you glow up from the inside out. So if that sounds like you, then you may wanna consider subscribing. Okay, now let's get into today's topic. There were so many first times on this trip. I had my first first class flight worked through my fears on my first solo trip. Also the first time that I used my DJI, not sponsored, Osmo Pocket 3 Creator Combo Camera. I'm gonna make a separate video on that. If you do want that video, let me know in the comments below. We're officially in Nashville and it's been a long morning. My flight was very early. I got there at like four, so we didn't get much sleep, but it's okay. Let me pull up a chair. This was my first time taking a first class flight. At the very last minute, I decided to upgrade. It felt so good that I was able to treat myself to something that I've always wanted. I had a middle seat before that, so I was already getting anxiety of the thought of being in the middle. I just, I went for it. I was like, you know what? It's an early flight. I need to feel comfortable and I'm flying alone. So I definitely needed to prioritize my well being in that moment. I knew it was going to be worth it. Boarding the plane first, but I had never done that. We need to get used to feeling like we deserve the special treatment. I had coffee and a mimosa. They give you a complimentary drink. So I was like, why not? Yogurt with fruit. They brought us food and it was like this little bowl of like eggs with ham, salami, and all this stuff. They sat next to a CEO of a pharmaceutical company. In first class, you still have like domestic flights. You still sit next to someone, but there's more space in between you. When I first got on the plane, he was nice enough to help me put my luggage in the overhead bin. I have a little luggage that is jam packed. He like squished my luggage for me so I could force the zipper closed. By the way, how cool is this camera? It follows me. She's growing up, she's adulting. Solo travel isn't about just going somewhere new. It's really about learning a new side of yourself. That brings me to my first point. Solo travel can really boost your confidence and it can empower you so much. You have to learn how to navigate new places, new situations, all independently without having someone there with you to troubleshoot if things don't go as planned. Like for me, for for example too, I'm really used to traveling with my fiance. It was also a way for me to rediscover my own confidence as an individual. The other thing that solo travel does is it really builds resilience and it also strengthens your problem solving skills. I know for me, going to the airport, I have so much anxiety. You know, there's so much going on. I get overstimulated very quickly. So the airport does kind of stress me out. So I knew going into it that I'm going to have to learn how to navigate through these challenges on my own 
alone without having someone like my fiance there with me to comfort me or help me. First thing was I had to get there really early. I had some downtime so I could edit and post my video. I just recently got my TSA pre-check, which means I get to cut the security checkpoint line, usually for a faster line, and I wouldn't have to remove my shoes. But because I had never used it, I also wasn't prepared for how to use it. So I was a little confused navigating the airport, trying to get to the right line. There's something about that when you learn to troubleshoot and you learn to problem solve on your own in a new environment, in a new situation that really builds that confidence within yourself. Speaking of troubleshoot, quick story time. When I first checked into the hotel, they brought me up to my room and it was so nice. There was only one little problem and that was that the blinds wouldn't open all the way. There was a couple of them around the room because it was a pretty big suite that wouldn't open and it was a little eerie because of the kitchen area that was super pitch black and dark if I didn't open the blinds. So they were nice enough to send up someone from maintenance to try to fix it, but then realized they weren't able to fix it because they couldn't replace the damage. So they ended up moving me up to a floor above, which is the club level, and it worked out even better. Another example of a closed mouth doesn't get fed, so make sure to ask and speak up if something isn't working out or if there's something that you paid for that just isn't what you expected. Sometimes I do believe in that as long as we're kind and communicating that it can always work out for the better. Just like in my last video where we talked about the burnt toast theory, I think this was one of those cases because it didn't work out so that I could get upgraded to an even better room and I honestly wasn't even expecting that, but it was so nice of them. I ended up falling in love with the second room that they gave me and it felt way more cozy and you know, I'm grateful either way for the room, of course, but the room that I ended up staying in just felt so much more cozy and comfortable and safe. There was something about the first room that I kind of had weird energy about, so I'm really glad that this happened. And another point here I want to mention that even though it's not a big deal, when we're by ourselves, we have to think in these moments when things don't go right or if something comes up, we have to be the one to make that decision. I wouldn't have my fiance or someone else there, for example, to weigh in on this, like, should we just stay in this room? It was a conversation that I had to have with myself. I had to make the initiative to call the front desk and figure everything out. And again, these are small situations, but still empowering for us to be able to handle them on our own. Just wanted to share that quick little story time. And now let's get back to the video. The other thing about solo travel that I really loved was that you have a lot of flexibility in your own schedule. You can make decisions on your itinerary without having people weigh in on the decision or if you had a last minute change you don't have to consider anyone else really it's just all up to you and there was something really nice about the freedom to explore when i wanted to and then stay in the hotel when i felt too tired you know normally you have to compromise with whoever you're traveling with on things like what time you go to bed what time you wake up what time you leave where you want to go first and all of those things so it was really nice that the first day I initially wanted to explore Nashville, but even though I got to my hotel early and they helped me check in early, I actually was so tired that I ended up kind of like relaxing in the hotel for a while and then ordered some room service. I ate in the room. I'm falling asleep. I love this vibe of this room though. I even put my boots on. So I did my little loop around the hotel just got a few clips. I'm challenging myself to work through that uncomfortable feeling. I'm in an entirely new state by myself. I'm very close to just going to the Stairmaster. There's a very huge gym here, apparently. Maybe I could just get some steps in. I got ready and I went downstairs to just vlog around the hotel and kind of check out the scenery the restaurants that they had and look at the menu and then i ended up just going to the gym at night and working out it was unplanned but very spontaneous and i think there's something fun about that where if you're flying if you're traveling on your own you can just make your own rules the other thing is there's lots of self-discovery i've realized that when i was on my trip had to call it a lift to ride around the city and i had to figure out you know where exactly i could get dropped off and like you know where where i could go find a matcha and get a drink or like walk around where can i go you know you're really just 
figuring out your own intuition again of you know using your instincts too like of course you want to be safe you want to be cautious you're a little bit more alert more present it's you with you <laughs> this trip really allowed me to reconnect with myself again just reflect you know when i was in the hotel you know i was able to look out the window and see the beautiful view and just reflect on my goals like really soak in that moment like wow i'm here and i'm so grateful for this opportunity and just be able to live in my thoughts and enjoy the moment a lot i also realized in this trip the first night that i had to sleep alone in the hotel i was a little bit scared i'm not used to sleeping by myself because i live with my fiance then i ended up playing a meditation on insight timer and helped myself fall asleep so it took me that one night to kind of let all of those emotions out and i had to have like a moment with myself to just accept that that's because i was uncomfortable and it was a new environment we got through it and the next few nights i had no problem falling asleep you know solo travel really gives you the chance to unplug from your own routine and it was really nice even though i work for myself full time now as a creator having that time away from my usual routine and environment was something different i was able to recharge mentally next up is of course meeting new people i met so many new people on this trip of course even though i was flying solo and i stayed by myself on this trip i actually had a couple events that i was going to be going to there was a team dinner gathering and i was able to meet a lot of the other girls in the company and there were some other beauty creators there that we instantly clicked you know after dinner we was able to go out and explore this city with a new group of people and it was really fun there was other situations too where there was an event summit that we were going to where they were going to be having a panel but this day i actually had a little extra time so i went down to the bar and it was closed at that time they were not yet open but i asked the lady if i could sit at the bar and just charge my phone because housekeeping was also just cleaning my room so i ended up having a really deep conversation with the lady who was working at the bar and she turns out she lived in california she moved to nashville and we were just talking about the differences between the two and it was really interesting because that would not have happened i guarantee it if i was traveling with someone meeting locals meeting new people you know there was a couple of instances where i would go to the store for example or a coffee shop and i had more meaningful conversations with the person because you know it's a one-to-one -one and i was able to meet more locals i got a ton of recommendations not only from some people on the flight they were able to recommend a couple of restaurants coffee shops you kind of learn to expand your inner circle get out of your comfort zone a little bit and socialize there were so many times where i ate slower or i had my coffee slower and i was able to just soak up the views of wherever i was at even if it was as simple as talking to the lady at the bar or just walking around the corner to a different coffee shop it really gave me new opportunities to push myself out of my comfort zone i want to talk about how solo travel also improves your mindfulness there's a lot of extra time going back home to la between you know when i checked out at the hotel and my flight it helped me recap in my mind like all the things that we did during this trip the gratitude and stay in that gratitude feeling i definitely feel like solo travel helps you be more appreciative for every single moment on your trip you know sometimes when you're in a group or you're traveling with someone like things just kind of fly by because you know you're in your comfort zone but because you're you're forced to be outside of your routine you really can appreciate each moment and be more present and then the last thing is it really gives a sense of personal achievement i can't tell you how proud i am of myself and how proud i am of you if you've ever solo traveled because for the first time especially it was a little intimidating it gives you the sense of wow it wasn't as scary i did it i completed something and it builds that trust within yourself which also improves your confidence following my intuition got me here it led me here on this trip so following your intuition can lead to so many beautiful things so many experiences and opportunities such as traveling so if you needed a sign let this be it because simply doing something as following my intuition and doing what i loved led me to these opportunities and i know that it can be the same for you i know there might be a couple of people out there who are thinking 
I would love to travel, but it's just not in my budget. And I really want to say I understand. But if anything, let this be a reminder that following your dreams can lead to such opportunities. This opportunity wouldn't have come up for me to go to Nashville if I wasn't following my intuition to create. Like last year, me and my fiance were flown out to the Philippines for a creative project for an entire month fully paid for. Remember, it's not about having it all figured out. It's just about taking it one step at a time and trusting the process. If you made it to the very end, comment down below, independent, so I know that all my independent girlies or boys <laughs> made it to the end. I wanna know if you've had any experiences with solo travel yourself. If you did, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your stories. I really enjoy reading your comments so much, so I also wanna say thank you, and I'll see you in the next video, friends. Bye.